What's going on champs and champ heads? It's Fire Monkey here and sometimes in Fortnite Epic Games has to make some weird little sacrifices in order to prevent glitches from actually occurring and this time is no different because in today's YouTube video we got to talk about a brand new hotfix Epic Games pushed just the other day which allows you to technically sabotage people who are trying to get medallions in matches. So firstly what is going on here? What was this hotfix and everything else? Well if you guys have ever tried to actually go to the medallion vehicles before you actually had the medallion you may know that you're unable to really affect the vehicle right i mean if you try shooting through it the whole entire gate or whatever else you know the whole entire like cage is fully just kind of one solid object you're not able to have bullets go through there or anything and it was something that it was just kind of like understandable it's like no one has the medallion you know the vehicle is just kind of sitting there so there's no reason for it to be able to be damaged by anyone or anything however there was also a second reason why this was happening it wasn't just because the cage had you know no collision or whatever else but it was also because in the actual game in the actual files and everything else they made it so when the medallion vehicles have not been unlocked when they're still in their cage you're unable to actually damage them they basically have god mode right and if you realize that what i just said is hey vehicles in the game technically have god mode you can realize that if you're able to get the vehicle out of their little container that is not a good combination because of the fact that god mode means hey this thing right here will not take any damage regardless of where it is and as you can see right Right here we're trying to shoot at it nothing else happens but they went ahead and pushed out a brand new hotfix that makes it so you can actually damage vehicles just through a very odd means when they're still in here if you get close enough and you start pickaxing you actually can't do it from this side you have to actually go to the other side where this little wall is you're able to get close enough to the vehicle where you're able to actually pickaxe it and you could technically just fully destroy it before anyone gets a chance to get the vehicle as you can see right here oh if it wants to work with me hold on wait wait did they push out another hotfix Hotfix that actually broke this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, what? No, there you go. Yeah, you just have to like get it perfect, and once you angle it the right way, you can just fully destroy the vehicle, right? You can go here, pickaxe. I think this one has around 1.7 thousand health, and you can make it so before anyone's ever eliminated the Nitrodrome boss or any of the other bosses where the vehicles are at, they get through all of it. They get the mythic, they get the medallion, whatever else. But when they go to actually get their vehicle, it's just an empty box, and you'll see that very shortly here as we keep pickaxing. We're real close to the end here. I think we're going to hit it in a few seconds. Yep, there you go. As you see, the vehicle's been destroyed. It explodes. For a short second, you know, it destroys some of the above area, but after a moment or two, it will completely disappear. And then it's just like, hey, this is an empty box you're able to unlock, right? Because you're not going to be able to drive that. You can't repair it. And as you can see now, it's completely gone. But the question is, why did they remove God Mode from the vehicles? What was the exploit that was going on here? Well, as you guys saw, the area I was pickaxing the vehicle from had another wall kind of collided with it and if you manage to get the war bus in a match and then go over to one of those cages and kind of drive right into the corner of it you would be able to not only break that wall but break the cage wall as well meaning that you were able to actually take the vehicle especially at the nitro dome and you were able to drive around the map with god mode still enabled because the medallion door had not been opened yet of course if you were in the match and someone went later around the line and got the medallion and opened the door they would make it so that your vehicle was able to be damaged again but if you yourself happened to also grab that medallion, you basically had a medallion, you had the special effects from it, and you had god mode enabled on an entire vehicle, which if you can't tell, definitely is going to be a little bit of a cheatsy thing to have in the game, since it does have, you know, the better improvements on it compared to other vehicles due to the fact that it's a boss one, so it has more health and everything else. And overall, it does, you know, just kind of create an unfair advantage. Now, I know a lot of people are probably wondering, it's like, but if this was a very specific thing, you know, using a war bus that you don't even find too often, then why should this matter too much? Why did they have to do this whole entire hotfix that kind of sabotaged the game, you know? It sabotaged all the car combat this season, and the real reason why is because that's basically the only hotfix they could do right now. Something I could see them doing in the future is re-enabling god mode in a future update once they get the little wall exploits fixed and they make it so that you're not able to destroy the wall anymore that way you know right now you know there is a slight workaround while they make a more permanent fix but at the same time they might just keep god mode completely disabled and or i guess you know yeah keep god mode completely disabled on the vehicles and just make it so it's like hey you know you can't pickaxe these or something like that right we kind of just got to wait and see what they end up doing about it but i did think that overall regardless of what they end up doing you know regardless of how this effect uh, you know it actually plays out in normal matches or whatever it still is very interesting to see because not every day are you just kind of playing the 
the game, you go ahead and fight the medallion boss and everything else, you know, you're ready to get your souped up little bonus car or whatever, and then someone else earlier, while you were preoccupied, especially with the Nitro Dome, you know, going around the course and everything, just decides, you know what, I don't want you to have a vehicle, because look at this, we got the medallion, we did the boss fight and everything else, and we're sitting here, and oh boy, 250 XP for opening a vault, I can't wait to get in my car, but of course, now it is just an empty cage I unlocked, right? Now it's no longer a vehicle that could earn me tons of XP. It is literally just a box that I opened up for like 250 bonus XP and called it a day, right? And I think that's kind of, you know, goofy in its own right, just to have that happen in matches. And I know a lot of people dislike vehicles this season and everything. They hate the vehicle combat, but at the same time, at least they, I guess, have some sort of a way of fighting back. You know, I definitely think there's going to be some combat going on in those areas, but it's still kind of just goofy and funny to see actually happen overall. And if anyone was curious, of course I was able to deal damage by pickaxing it, but you might be wondering, are you able to actually deal damage with, like, you know, explosives or something to the vehicle? I have tried this. I've tried, you know, shooting through the bars and everything. As you can see right there, it kind of just sticks to that area. And you aren't able to damage the vehicle by actually shooting through these bars. Any explosive nearby, at least from my attempts of trying, have not actually managed to damage it inside. So it's literally just because of how close the vehicle is to the edges of these bars. So when you angle your camera the proper way, and, you know, sometimes I'm only able to get it like this right here you're able to actually hit the bar or you know bypass the bar hit registration and actually hit the vehicle instead causing that weird little glitch to happen but yeah you know i just thought i'd make a quick little video talking about this weird exploit type thing going on and how it isn't even set to be a nerf for vehicles or anything but instead epic games just trying to nerf and exploit people are doing to have god mode vehicles on the island until next time, however, hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's little yappy video where we talked about something not that important, but still kind of interesting to discuss, you know, nerdy to me. I'm like, hey guys, look at this weird little funny. And until next time, I'll catch you champs and champions a little bit later with another video. Peace out.